Let's set up our open spot 4 with our Yesu FT5. To get your radio ready, you want to set up a frequency that is the same as the frequency in your open spot. So all you do is go into VFO mode, VM here. That's memory, it says VFO here. So we want to be in VFO mode. Hold your finger on the frequency, type in the frequency you want. Four, three, eight, five, seven, five. That's what we're going to use. We want to be in DN mode. So mode button here where it says mode. Tap that until it says DN. If there's a line above, it will switch to FM analog when, you, when it receives that. But we're going to just keep it locked in DN mode like so. So we don't want to have any shifts. If you've got any, the quick way to get rid of them is to push F menu. See the squelch type? Tap that. Make sure that's turned to off using the channel changing knob. Back. Now, you will need to make sure you've got no shifts. So hold down the F menu. Tap config in red. Go down to menu 15. Tap repeater shift. And you want that off. You don't want to shift. The next thing you need to do is make sure your call sign is in the radio. Hold down F menu. Then turn it to call sign. Call sign here in the corner. So just tap call sign. And now you can start typing your call sign. So just, it's like the old fashioned phone. Um, if you keep pressing it, it will go to small letters, large letters, letters, and then you've got, you know, these different numerics there. So just keep going across and use the right arrow here. If you go back, look, right arrow, and you can actually go put your call sign in. You can put a slash in and you can add one, two, three, four characters I've got there, no problem. Okay, then back out. So you've got your call sign in. Now we're going to go to the open spot. You're already in set. If you want to add to memory, just hold down the VM. Like so, 38 is flashing here in white. All you do, if you go back one, it goes red. That means the channel's taken. So leave it in white, hold down the VM again. And then you'll get the chance to name it. And this is for the open spot. So we'll go NMO, then P. That'll do. And then just push the VM again. And it's in the memory. Now, you might not see it in the memory when it's on dual display. So hold down AB and look, open. Keep it in single display. So we're already on the radio. Now let's move to the PC and let's set up the open spot. So here's the open spot. To turn it on, just push the this round, but hopefully it's not. it's got plenty of charge in it. Mine's flashing red and transmitting because it's been set up before. So to, wait, to make it start from the beginning, we're going to hold down the sort of Wi-Fi emblem button here, which will put it into access mode, like so. And you should actually hear the radio hear that eventually if we turn the volume up. But right now it's in access mode. Let's go to the computer. Open spot four, first time set up. So we've turned it on. We're going to go to our Wi-Fi and we're going to see OpenSpot 4 Pro listed in our Wi-Fi. We're going to click that, connect. We'll switch over to the control panel of the OpenSpot 4 Pro. Select our country. See, I'm in the United Kingdom. Scroll up a bit, go next. Now going to find and scan our Wi-Fi and we're going to connect to the top one, put the password in. Like so, that should connect. A few seconds while it sort of switches over. It says acquiring IP address. Tell gives you some more information that that will be the one that you're connected to. Click OK. We just wait while this configures. And then what it will do now is it will automatically switch. Just gonna click that. There is advanced mode down here if you want it. It gives you more selectors right at the bottom here. You've got the quick setup button, which is right at the bottom right hand corner. That's important. So let's put in our call sign M0FXP. Of course, you need a ham call sign to use this. 
so that it's found our DMR number, our NXDN, click save. Now we're on a C4FM radio, which I shall turn up in the background, like so. Put in the frequency that's on our radio at the top here. I'm going to use, in this case, 433900. I've turned the radio on, and now we're going to select Brandmeister. Now remember, with Brandmeister DMR, you do need to make sure you put your self-care password. So create an account with Brandmeister here. I'll put a link in. Just when you log in, it says self-care here. See it here? And then at the bottom on the left, put just any password there and save it. And you're going to need to put that when you're on DMR, you're going to need to put that in this server password where it's got the, the dots. Choose your server. I use the United Kingdom. So it's United Kingdom. I think it's 2341. Scroll down, there it is there, 234, it's basically Brandmeister, passwords in, then we'll link a talk group, click the grey block, the, the block here, and then we're going to just go straight to Worldwide, click Worldwide, and we, we will connect, so remember we're on a C4 FM radio, and we're trying to connect to Worldwide. And, you know, it will do that. It will announce a few times, but eventually it will connect. If you're lucky, it will connect straight away. So let's do some uh, some cross-moding. We'll, we'll select Quick Setup here, bottom right. Click. We're on a C4FM radio. And let's go to D-Star. So Reflector here. And we'll go Module C, which is very common. And then the grey box again, 1 Charlie. So Reflector 1 Charlie. And then we'll hit connect. And sometimes it will go straight in. And that's it. That's your first time setup. So I use I don't use the profiles to be honest. I just use what we call quick setup. Like I said, if you click the advanced, you get more settings here. But quick setup. You always choose the radio that you're on first. So if you're on a DMR radio, you choose DMR first. If you're on a D-Star radio, choose that first. Then choose everything else. So we'll just do one more time. We're on C4FM radio, FT5. We're going to choose... We'll, we'll stay on YSF or Fusion. We'll click the grey block. We'll choose something like CQ UK. And then we'll hit connect and you'll hear it announce... when it connects. So we'll connect it, I'll show you some footage at the end of what that looks like. So that's your first time setup for the Yaesu FT5 on the OpenSwap 4 or 4 Pro. Bye for now, 73. Thanks for watching my channel. All the best. I suppose these days, I'm not under the action. <laughs> That's one thing I don't think about. I do like